Hey guys, this is Hong Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm very happy today to have Jasmine Sander here. She's a friend of mine who absolutely loves makeup. Not just a little, she willing to play with all different a looks. A lot of makeup. And we, we have played <laughs> quite a few different looks. And I remember last year or the year before, we did a look for CFDA award and we did this amazing, crazy blue eyeshadow. And uh, today, we didn't know what we want to do, but she was like, just go for it, just play it. And this is what we came up with. I hope you like the look and give us a lot of love. Don't forget to follow both of us on Instagram as well and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Before every makeup, as always, I'm going to start with skincare prep for the lips. I'm going to use a little bit of lip balm from Summer Friday. And as I mentioned on the intro, if you have the face like this, it's the waste if you're not going to paint it on. <laughs> so, no, I shouldn't say that. But Jasmine looks amazing with no makeup. We're going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to lay it up with the makeup. So, um, I don't want to see any comment that says she's gorgeous without makeup. We understand that. The point for me doing this video is to share ideas, technique, inspiration. It's not about makeover, it's not about transformation. I always think makeup is only an accessory. It's never a must for me. So if you like it, go for it. And if you don't, you don't have to wear it. No one needs to wear makeup at all they just want to wear makeup so jasmine do you have any beauty tips that you want to share to the viewer because you have incredible skin so what do you normally do you. or my biggest thing is just making sure that i remember to take off all my makeup yeah um not sleeping in it trying um do you do double cleansing because i think that's important i do and i've also been using i don't know what it's called but like just a a little machine that helps exfoliate yeah. and really taking the time to deep clean my pores and especially moisturizing and lots and lots of water if the viewer don't know what i mean by double cleansing is that usually if you wear a lot of makeup and just a normal cream cleanser or gel cleanser it doesn't take all your makeup off and i would recommend you to use like a, a balm like a cleansing balm first and they take all the makeup off and then you rinse it off and you use a gel or cream cleanser just to do the second cleanse i always like to spend a little time Give some love to the face, a little massage. I was gonna say, it's the massages for me. Yeah. <laughs> for me, I think it's so important. Always so relaxed in your chair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's the key. I think makeup is your enjoying time, relaxing time. For complexion today, I'm gonna use Airbrush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury, shade seven. Jasmine body is more tan than the face, but we're gonna warm her skin up. Just to matte the body a little bit. I don't want any comment about why you darken them her face. It's like I prefer it. <laughs> it's just because it's we try, yeah, we try to blend it in. For concealer, I'm use shade number seven brown nose and any type of little thing and then or under the eye on tip the nose around here I'm you number five for foundation I put mainly on the t-zone and then I blend it out this is more a fuller coverage foundation Jasmine have incredible skin. If for everyday wear, I would do just a little concealer is enough or even nothing at all. But we want to have fun, so we're going to give Jasmine a full beat. A 
look up me and I'm using a sponge but of course you can use foundation brush the fingers or anything how do you prefer to apply your foundation Jasmine I normally use a sponge just because I feel like especially a damp sponge is a yeah. lot easier for me to work my foundation and mm -hmm. not use too much product and you just blend it out just make sure blend everywhere and that's what i'm doing right now i seriously i'm so excited that we're about to do a real look because i always hear people say you shouldn't have a lot of makeup on you have such beautiful skin and i'm like i want to play in makeup it's so beautiful it's so much fun and like let's just create cool stuff yeah. but i think that you're a perfect example of someone who look amazing naturally but you love makeup like i said makeup is what you want you don't need it but you want it it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the concealer, they have a sponge in there for hygienic reason. I'm just pump it out. This is shade number five, and I use mostly under the eye. A little bit on the forehead here, on the bridge of the nose. And I'm using the same foundation sponge I used earlier. Just blend it out. I'm using shade number seven just around the nose I also put a little bit around the mouth and you can use the same foundation sponge and just blend everything out you can also use a smaller brush and then just you want to cover any little thing that you would like jasmine is flawless but i just want to see any kind of pigmentation or anything but she doesn't have anything so but that's not the best way to do also try to use the same color concealer of the foundation when you cover blemishes instead the lighter shade that you use under the eye because that way it's going to blend to the skin easier i'm also going to use some tantor from huda beauty i just depart these and the shade i'm going to use is the middle shade right here a little bit on the nose here Like I said, we're gonna try to do more full on look. So I'm gonna do it all for you guys to see. A little bit on the forehead. Whistle for me a little bit. There's a little whistle. Whistle. Yeah, and then you just do a little contour here. And on the jaw as well. Using a blending brush blend everything out And also just blend out the nose. For powder, 
I'm also going to use two different shades of powder. The darker shades is just everywhere else. And the lighter shades I'm using on the bridge of the nose, under the eye. And around the nose. Because I do skin first and the eye after, and the eye I'm gonna do is really strong. To prevent some of the fall up, I'm gonna do a little baking underneath of the eye. I'm doing the same on the other side. For eyebrow, I'm gonna use two different eyebrow products, pencil and a microblading pen. Like a little fork. The pencil I'm using to extend the brows a little longer. And a little pen, I'm gonna create some natural hair texture right here. And you can do a little spoolie, keep brushing back to see how it's looking. And you can fill in any little gap. After that, you have the little microblading. You just create some natural hair stroke. And that's the brow, and I'm going to do the same on the other side. To prime the eye, I'm using Long Wear Eyeshadow from MAC. This is a Long Wear Cream Shadow but they work amazing at the eye primer. A little bit. And I'm also using a little bit on the low lash light as well. For the eye, I'm gonna use this eyeshadow palette from the collaboration of Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay. I'm thinking of using this shade here, shade here, here. I mean, I really don't know exactly where I'm going, but I'm just gonna play with them. And I think that, that what about makeup? I'm thinking of this two eyeliner. I'm using this just to map out the shape that I wanna do. Look for me. The eyeliner pencil I'm using is a long wear pencil. I do recommend using it one eye at a time because if you want to blend and anything like that, you need a little time and it's better to do one eye first. You can see that. I'm doing just in the waterline. And I blend it out a little bit. A little more. Using the same pencil along the upper lash line. And blend it out. I also gonna use the same pencil for the upper water line as well. Next, I'm using a black pencil from the same brand. And I'm extend the eye shape a little bit. And blend it out.
I decide to make them a little fuller and not too feline. I use just the color and just blend it out just to map out what I'm gonna do next. Basically, I'm just creating depth. This black pencil is incredible if you like a long wear pencil. But one thing to remind everyone that they don't give you a lot of play time. So you need to blend really fast and do one eye at a time. So right now I'm just using this to create depth underneath the shadow I'm gonna put on top. I'm gonna use, I think the pink one on the lower lash line. And you know, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just playing with them. Mm -hmm. I always see Nikki wear tons of color and I'm so inspired. So when I see this palette, I say, you know what? I'm gonna play a little colorful like Nikki always do on her eye. Next shade I'm gonna use is this peachy color here. And I'm gonna do mainly the inner part of the eye. For the red color, I'm using mainly on the outer part. And as I mentioned earlier, the black line I use, I smoke it out, it's really map out what I want to do. And it gives me a lot of depth. And it does give you this gradation from dark to light. And that's the whole point of what I did earlier. These color is amazing. This palette, the color is all over the rainbow. I mean, this is perfect for what they charge and the price point is like amazing. And the palette, very pigmented. If you want to get really pigmented, you just press the products in like this. You get even more pigment. I have to ask, since my eyes are closed, what type of brush are you using? Is it a flatter brush? A flatter, like a bigger, flatter one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I'm going back to the shades I used earlier. I'm just gonna blend the edge it out. Don't worry about the demarcation right here. I'm gonna blend it out with something after. And then I blend it up as well. I'm gonna use this shade right here with my finger. And I'm just gonna place right here. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous. And just mainly the center of the eye. To make it more fun, I'm using this shimmering shade. I'm gonna use with the brush so it's more sheer. Just a little bit on the brow bone. Definitely you can get way more pigment if you use with a finger, but I just want just a little bit, just a little highlight there. Turn on the way here. And then a little bit on the inner part of the eye. here as well. Before I do mascara, I'm gonna take all the excess powder off. You see that when you bake in, the powder actually cook in there already. It's my favorite part. Mm -hmm. 
And what I'm gonna do as well with the foundation sponge, I clean up the little corner on the back to keep the eye lifted. I'm going to curl the lashes. I always do that before mascara, guy. Just a little pinch is still good than nothing. I'm gonna use some mascara called Damn Girl from Too Faced. It's like a volume mascara. I'm gonna use two layers of them just to get a lot of volume. I love the name of this one. Damn Girl. And I'm also you one coat on the lower lashes. To complete the brow and the eyes, I'm gonna put a little clear brow gel to set the brow. For the blush, I'm using Dallas. Mainly on the upper part of the cheeks. A little bit on the temple. I'm gonna use a little bit on the tip of the nose. For highlighter, I'm using a highlighter from Go Beauty on the high cheekbone. A little bit on the bridge of the nose and top of the lips, chin. I'm gonna use bronzer from Mark Jacob Beauty. Just warm jasmine up a little more and just to sculpt the face a little bit more. For the lips, I'm going to use this color from Rare Beauty. It's a little bit unexpected lip color for this eye makeup, but I thought this is a nice compliment together. You see the color is gorgeous. It's very comfortable. Jasmine has just the perfect the shape of the lips. I'm gonna skip the lip liner. I think it's just beautiful without it. To complete the look, I'm going to set Jasmine face with a little bit of finishing spray. That is the final look, you guys. I know it's a lot, but we love it. We just want to have fun and we want to do a full on makeup look for everyone to see. Jasmine looked gorgeous without makeup, but she chose to wear a lot of makeup today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give us a thumb up, share some love, subscribe to the channel, and follow both of us on Instagram as well. Thank you for watching. Thank you.